we're going to use SketchUp online to create this table. So I found this packet online and it's going to be in millimeters. So we're going to have to type in the MM after our dimension. And we're going to use the beta version of SketchUp so there will be some, some quirks. So I have a lot of this table packet memorized, but we're going to do a, the tabletop is going to be 550 millimeters deep and 1150, 1100 millimeters wide. Okay. So, and then we're going to push pull it up. Um, push pull the table up so that it has a, a 25 millimeter tabletop thickness. And then we'll look at the bottom and um, we'll drag, we'll draw these rectangles on that will become the legs. Notice there's four of them. The little dotted lines are guideline tools. And from the bottom edge, we want to go in 75 millimeters and press enter to make it so. So you have to do, repeat this process four times as shown in figure five, six, and seven. After you do in figure seven, once you do this rectangle, it's 70 millimeters by 70 millimeters. And you're going to do it once. And you can repeat that same process doing four times. Or you can copy and the square and drag it to the different um, areas of the table. You do have to press, uh, I believe it's the Control-C on a PC and on a Mac. It's the Option key. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So I'm going to say Products. My SketchUp launch, and this should work on Chromebooks as well. I noticed that sometimes it's a little bit, it, as I got done with it, when I went to color the, the table, it did take a while, and my web browser froze and asked me if I wanted to kill the page, and I had to say no two times, but then eventually it did cover. I was just really patient. so. As you get done and you go to color it, you know, that might be a good time to like go watch a TV show or take a break, have a cup of tea or coffee. I don't know. So I'm gonna delete the guy, select the rectangle, which is this right here. You're gonna notice the interface looks a little bit different. So I'm gonna click and drag, and I'm gonna type 1100 mm comma 550 mm. If I don't type the mm, it will do it in feet and inches, and you don't want That'd be a really big table. So there it is right there. Now I'm going to push pull. You can see over here that once I highlight, I'm using the keyboard shortcuts. The P key is push pull, and I'm going to go up 25 millimeters and press return. Now I'm going to orbit the bottom side. And again, in the packet, this is where it said to use the guideline tool and go in 75 millimeters. So that's what I'm going to do is use the tape measure. I would do want to orbit a little bit, use the tape measure. Make sure you're dragging towards the center. Sometimes it'll look like it's the center, but it's actually going kind of like down here. You can see on this one that kind of went down. It didn't go into the center. So see along that green axis? I'm going to press Command-Z to undo. So again, the tape measure, clicking, dragging. 75 millimeters, 75 mm return. And I'm going to repeat this process. It might be possible to change the template. I know in SketchUp, I like to do this assignment and get students used to working in standard as well as metric. So now I'm going to do this. I place my cursor the tip of the pencil on the corner it gives you that little X I'm going to go in again I'm going to type in 70 mm comma 70 whoops mm and I look in the lower right hand corner where it says dimensions and I press return to make sure it's size just don't draw anywhere else after until after you resize it um, if you do you might have to undo and just try it again so now I'm going to move this I'm going to make and make a copy so I'm going to use the move tool and I'm going to click on this corner and drag it to that one. But the first thing I do I have to do is press the uh, command key and you'll notice that now I got that little plus. So now I can click here. Whoops. Oh, see there was a little bit of lag I didn't notice. So press the move. I get the command plus. Click here. And it didn't make a copy. So let me try this again. 
there we go. There's our copy. So that's like a right clicking. So I'm just going to click off of it. Select it again. Move. Option. Clicking. As soon as I drag away for it, it should make a copy. And you will might notice that there's a colored line. There is green. If I go sideways, it's red. That means you're either you're you're going straight across in that uh, plane, either the X, Y, or Z plane, and that's what you want. So now we want to extend out these legs, and these legs are 350 millimeters, and then press Enter the first time. So you only have to do it on one, and then all you got to do is double click on the other ones, and they'll go to that distance too. Or you can click on the bottom. You can click on the leg you got to bring down, and then drag it to over here. So let me show you what I mean. So again, the first one, I got to click, drag down, 350mm, press return, and that leg went down. Let me reposition this so it's easier for us to see. Okay, so now that I did that one first off, I should be able to double click, and it went the wrong way. Let's try it again. Okay, so let's try that one more time. I'm going to click and drag down, and I'm going to... Infer when I drag to the other leg, I'm holding down and dragging, and you saw that dotted line. That means those two are the same distance. Now I did that one again, 350, so I should be able to double click. There it is, that's what's supposed to work. But either way, if you do happen to do this, always drag back to the same leg that you know that is correct. That way, one is not longer than the other, and you don't wind up with an unbalanced table. That would be not good for your customers. So, here you can see there. After I got the top of the table done and the legs done, I can go in and erase all the guidelines. The E key is the eraser. So I'm just going to go across on these. These are the lines you're not going to be able to erase. They're part of the um, guidelines or the origin lines. The vertical, the blue is height, the green is depth, and the red is width. And so now what we're going to do is we are going to create a bottom shelf. So it's going to look like this on a shelf on the bottom and we're going to color a wood color. And you can select the type of wood color. And you can even put a cut a hole in the top for glass. So let's come back up here to this part. So the first thing we've got to do is get these boards on the inside going across. So you're going to have to draw two rectangles, one on each one of these, and you pull these across. And then you'll have to drag, draw a rectangle here and here and pull those across. So let's take a look up here. Okay, so you want to get this rectangle in the center from here to here and 50 millimeters from the above. So there's a couple different ways. I like to add in two guidelines, one that's horizontal and one that's vertical, so that I know exactly where I need to place that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to orbit so I can see both the legs. And I want to do this inside because these ones are going to pull across that leg. So I'm going to use a tape measure come up 50 millimeters, then find the midpoint. And that light blue dot, as you come, as I, as I come across, as you come across, that light blue dot indicates the midpoint. So that's the center of the leg from, from here. Of course, if you recall, they're 70 millimeters square, so you could type in 35 as well. Okay. And we're also going to do one over here that pulls this way. So I'm going to click the tape measure, kind of come up 50 millimeters return. I'm not quite sure that was correct, so I'm going to type in 50 millimeters return and press return again. If it was wrong, it would automatically resize it. So now I'm going to click and drag this way, find that light blue, and there it is. All right, so now my rectangle. Let's come back to these looks like they're 60 by 20 millimeters, that's the size. So I'm going to do a rectangle, 60 mm, comma 20 mm, press return. And I've got to select it, and I click three times, and it's like the outside edges are blue as well as the inside. Use the move tool, zoom in, find that midpoint, and then drag it to that midpoint, right? Okay, now just like I made a copy before, I'm going to drag the copy over to here. So I'm going to use the move, option, click, 
and drag and it's and a drop if as long as you can see both legs at one time it makes it so much easier but if I had to zoom out and turn it might make it a little bit hard so before I even start I make sure I can see both legs I'm gonna orbit now to the side and I want to do this one over here so I'm gonna use the move with the option make sure I click on the midpoint again I'm gonna zoom out and it should automatically just turn that corner and I place it over there okay so now I can push pull this and I'm gonna start at that inside edge and I'm gonna start with a reposition the drawing remember what I said it was much easier kind of like if you can see both of them so right now I gotta click on the it's very typically of the uh, arrow and it clicks on the end and I'm pulling across I don't want to go into it I want to stop at that first line and you can see that when that little dot is on the line that's what you want it's either going to red or blue and I'm just gonna do that again over here right. got one more to do and I'm gonna do the rectangle because I didn't make a copy of it I have to redraw the rectangle 60 mm comma 20 mm return whoops something is 60 mm 20 mm millimeters all right so I make something something's not right so I'm gonna click and drag 60 mm comma 20 mm press return click three times move this down to the bottom and it should give me a little X intersection now I can push pull I'm going to drag out and a cross all right 